Hey everybody and welcome to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. My name is Jan Harris and I'm the superintendent of Dade County Schools. Today we have a special guest from Dade Elementary School. Uh, seated to my far right is Tanina Bice. I bet everybody knows Miss Bice, the counselor, one of the counselors at Dade Elementary School. And she's brought along a parenting expert, one of our pre-K teachers. Miss Bice, would you like to introduce Miss Thompson? Thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. Dr. Harris, and thank you for giving us an opportunity to be here today. This is Miss Allison Rose Thompson. Miss mm -hmm. Thompson is a graduate of Dade County High School. Mm -hmm. She attended UTC, and then she went to work for Siskin Early Learning Center, mm -hmm. and she worked there for nine years. And now we're blessed enough to have Miss Allison work with us Thank you. and she's working with our preschool mm -hmm. three and four year old students and she's doing an excellent job in fact um, I was in there watching her one day and mrs. Rogers and mrs. Blevins have they both observed her a lot and we said you know what we need to ask her to do a workshop for us for our parents and we did dr. Harris we had a, a workshop for our parents it was called peaceful parenting and we had a lot of parents turn out and we got some great reviews Views. So, Miss Blevins came up with the brilliant idea. Let's share this with Dade County. So, How wonderful. The one and only Miss Allison Thompson is here to talk mm -hmm. about peaceful parenting. And, you know, we can always use those helpful mm -hmm. tips as parents. That's what parents want. Yes, ma'am. Peaceful mm -hmm. life. Yes, we do know that parenting isn't easy. So just like Ms. Bice said, we recently had a parent workshop and um, we presented to the pre-K families on um, just different simple strategies to use at home for parenting. Um, what we did mostly was we went off of a list and um, we actually have that list um, for you guys to look at um, with just simple strategies to use at home um, to work on behavior. Um, I think one of the most important things to remember about behavior is that every behavior has a purpose. So children aren't just doing behavior just because they want to make things hard or they want to make your life or your routines challenging. They're doing it because they want to accomplish something. And um, we have to think about what, how we're going to respond to that behavior and um, you know how to help them to be successful in their routines and to help them communicate. So. Well, you know, Miss Allison, sometimes we watch children and they have behaviors that they do over and over again. Even though a parent tries to correct them mm -hmm. uh, and they try strategies, it just doesn't work. What do you recommend in a situation like that? Well, unfortunately, the reason that children do behavior over and over again is because at some point in time in their life, that behavior has worked. So it has worked to accomplish something, whether it's to avoid something that they don't want to do, whether it's to you know get something that they want or um, they get instant reinforcement for that um, so I would definitely suggest that you pick a strategy and you're consistent with it because what we know about behavior is that first it gets worse before it gets better um, so what happens is you try a strategy and your child doesn't like it and they're not gonna like it because you have reprimanded them or you have given them some sort of consequence for this behavior and um, so then they're gonna try to again and again and again and they're going to try harder and faster and it's going to get so much worse and then all of a sudden hopefully it's going to stop so I would recommend that you stick with whatever strategy it is that you have picked and you just keep working on it well that's excellent excellent Thank advice you. let me ask you this what if we have a parent out there who has a young child and maybe they're not in school at this point and they have questions um, would you be okay with them calling you and mm -hmm, asking definitely. you questions I know you're busy up until mm -hmm. 3 o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. or 3 15 but uh, would it be okay if they give you a call of course of course that you thought could. just came to my brain I'm sorry yes, no, of course. <laughs> they could send me an email or um, um, call um, call the school yes. and they would transfer you to my voicemail and I'd be happy to um, give you supports and so. that's uh, Dade Elementary yeah. School 706-657-8253 mm -hmm. so thank you I, I didn't mean to interrupt no, but okay. I just that thought came to me well um, how long sometimes Miss Allison does it actually take to change a behavior oh. 
You know, I think it depends on exactly, you know, what the behavior is, um, you know, how intense the behavior is, how long this behavior has been going on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes it can take, you know, two weeks and sometimes it can take two months. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what you really have to think about is, you know, why is the child doing this behavior? And then what can we replace it with? Mm -hmm. Because it's not just going to go away without something else. So, mm -hmm. you know, if the child is having a challenging behavior because they're um, struggling with a certain routine, then what can you mm -hmm. do as a, as a parent mm -hmm. to prevent? that behavior from happening right. and you know replace it replace it with something else so if they're angry can you replace that with you know oh I'm really angry you know you are mad right now well here's what you can do instead of screaming you know let's take a deep breath things like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it's good advice it is it really mm -hmm. is what do you think is the very best advice for parents as far as dealing with emotional behaviors I would suggest that you just stay calm um, you know young children have these really really big emotions mm -hmm. and you know at the age of three and four they haven't yet figured out how to regulate those emotions mm -hmm. and it's not something we can expect developmentally in that age group so stay calm be reflective mm -hmm. on how you want to address this behavior instead of just being extremely reactive um, and then you know if you need to reprimand them say something make it brief you know no hitting and then walk away and then later come back and teach later so mm -hmm. wait till you're calm mm -hmm. wait till the behavior is passed you're mm -hmm. in a positive parenting moment where you can sit down with your child and you can say hey do you remember earlier when this mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. you know that that really that was not a good choice and let me tell you some things you can do instead so take that moment later to do that mm -hmm. just stay calm <laughs> these are excellent tips these 11 tips oh, yes I like this one. Discipline is teaching. Yes. And I know in the Bible, when you learn about disciples, those were students mm -hmm. who were learning from the teacher, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's not just punishment. It's actually no, exactly. teaching what is the appropriate behavior. Is that right? Yes, yes. I love that phrase. I think you said it best when you said that it's not punishment so it's teaching the child what to do when these situations come up and they're not sure how to either express whatever an emotion it is that they're feeling or negotiate whatever situation it is that they're in so it's up to us as parents as teachers um, people in the community to help them with what to do in those situations so it is teaching it's not punishment it's not. Um, the list is is really helpful. Um, you know, you brought out the first point for that list. Um, first, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. So stick with whatever it is that you're choosing. Keep working on it. Um, I think definitely as a parent, you have to pick your battles. That's number two on the list. Um, you can't most of the time what happens is if, if there is a child that has a challenging behavior, mm -hmm. they have more than one challenging behavior. So you have to pick whatever battle it is. You can't focus on everything that the child does all at one time. Mm -hmm. So I suggest maybe making a list and picking the top three things that you do want to work on with your child, and that will help you feel more in control. Mm -hmm. um, we talked a little bit about when we were talking about first it gets worse I mentioned prevention um, prevention is better than attempting a cure for sure mm -hmm. um, try to pinpoint those routines that are really challenging and come up with strategies for yourself and for your child that gets you through those routines before the meltdown happens or before you start seeing that behavior mm -hmm. that's right so. Would you like to just go over some yeah, definitely. All the things I on can your do list? that. Um, the fourth thing, yeah. I was just going to yeah, say go um, prevention. We do that in the school setting mm -hmm. with so teacher did. supervision. Mm -hmm. Yes, we yes. prevent problems yes. before, after school, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. hallway. It's important. What else? Yes. This is interesting. Um, <laughs> number four is be consistent, but recognize that life isn't consistent. Mm, um, so I think true. that you know when you do mm -hmm. pick a strategy, you need to communicate that with other um, people that are providing care for your child. So if they stay at you know your mom's house, or they stay at mm -hmm. their aunt's house, or even with their teacher, you know, talk to those people and say, hey, we're working on this at home. This is mm -hmm. what we're doing, and encourage them to utilize the same strategies. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have to forgive yourself because you're not going to be perfect all the time so no matter how hard you try to be consistent there's going to be those times when mm -hmm. it just doesn't work out right. and expectations just aren't the same across the board expectations at school can be different than expectations mm -hmm. at home can be different than expectations at grandma's house and so that's, that's why it is important that you come in and talk mm -hmm. to the parent mm -hmm. um, that you come in the parents come in and talk to the teachers at school and they can share with you the strategies they're 
you're mm-hmm. using am i right yes definitely um mm-hmm. nothing makes me happier than for a parent to come in and say hey let's talk about mm-hmm. this because it, it puts us all in this really good mode of communication where mm-hmm. i can say hey this is what i'm seeing at school this is what you're seeing at home let's work on this together because you sh- it should be a partnership um mm-hmm. it's a partnership between the teacher and the parents i love that partnership mm-hmm. 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 me too it should be um number five is that structure can help um it's important to establish routines at home um every day shouldn't wake up and be a new day so Mm -hmm. when you wake up help your children to know Mm -hmm. you know what's going to happen next when i babysat for my niece's uh baby she's a kindergarten Mm -hmm. teacher she had a schedule for mm-hmm. Saturday, yeah. and uh, she had, you know, 8.30 change diaper, whether it need, <laughs> it's needed or not, you know, snack time at 9.15, reading at this time, mm-hmm. go outside for a walk at this time. I mean, mm-hmm. she had the whole day scheduled, mm-hmm. and um, it's she good. said, I keep my children on a routine. Mm-hmm. Well, it helps. You know, I always like to use the example of if you mm-hmm. went into the workplace or you started a new job and you sat down every day, you sat there and you just had to wait on someone to come and tell you what you were going to do next, <laughs> how much anxiety mm-hmm. you would feel by not knowing. But as adults, mm-hmm. we have a schedule. Mm-hmm. You know, we know when we go to work what our responsibilities are. We have planners. We have calendars. We have things mm-hmm. that we look at every day that keep us, um, you know, mm-hmm. On point. On point. Yeah. Well, Mm -hmm. that's a good place to stop. Stay with us. We'll be right back. At Brown's Tire Pros, your complete automotive service center, everything rotates around you. When you visit Brown's Tire Pros, you'll always get friendly customer service and high-quality work. Your purchase is also backed by the Tire Pros nationwide warranty and free roadside assistance. Brown's Tire Pros carries all major brands, including Michelin. And Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that will keep you going for miles to come. For hassle-free service and one of the industry's leading warranty packages, stop by Brown's Tire Pros in Trenton or visit us online at brownstireproscom Hungry? How about Cloud's Pizza on Highway 71 in Higdon? Not only do we have pizza with dough made fresh every day, Cloud's Pizza serves a delicious hot food bar, and we make cookies fresh every day. Make sure to order the famous cheese stick, made with that fresh dough and real Wisconsin cheese. And don't miss Fish Fry Friday. That includes catfish, hush puppies, and more for only $8.99 Friday, 4 p.m. to close. Cloud's Pizza, Alabama Highway 71 in Higdon, 597-3100. Open till 8, Monday through Saturday at Cloud's Pizza. A time-tested financial institution equipped with the latest banking technology, the Bank of Dade, with mobile banking to fit your on-the-go lifestyle. Download our latest app today for your iPhone, Android, or tablet to bank on the go. Check your balance, pay bills, make deposits, and keep track of your account anytime and anywhere with the Bank of Dade's smartphone app. Make life easier by using today's most advanced banking technology to your advantage. Call us at 657-6842 or visit on the web at bankofdade.com. Your hometown bank since 1956, the Bank of Dade. Main offices on Highway 11 North in Trenton and drive throughs on Highway 11 North and Highway 136 West. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. At Gross Furniture in Trenton, Georgia, you get the savings, the selection, and the satisfaction of getting the furniture you deserve at the prices you want. Come in, relax, and take your time. Our staff can assist you with the entire process, from expert advice to professional delivery. That's because Gross Furniture is local and treats you with honesty. Just north of the Courthouse Square on Highway 11 in Trenton. Gross Furniture, the home furnishing store that offers you more. Rising Fawn Hardware is your place for all your gardening needs. Seeds, onion sets, cabbage, strawberry plants, and more. A complete line of home hardware items, too. Everything for the house, including plumbing, hardware, and metal roofs. Plus, Rising Fawn Hardware has everything you need for your livestock, including name brands like Nutria, Tucker, and Faithway. Always with a hometown atmosphere, it's Rising Fawn Hardware. 4300 Highway 11 South in Rising Fawn. Open 8 in the morning till 6 at night, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and 8 to noon on Wednesday. Even open on Saturday from 8 until 4. Rising Fawn Hardware. Hey everybody, we're back. We have a celebrity in the house. We do. We have, first of all, we have the principal, Tracy Blevins from Dade Elementary, the celebrity student. I know. From Dade Elementary. Who is it? We're so Demetrius honored. Walker. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't even get a chance to, to, to let him do it. Demetrius, tell um, everyone um, what grade you're in and who your teachers are, because you have, you have more than just one, right? Yes. I'm in fifth grade, and I have Miss Powers, 
Miss Brackford, and Miss Wood. That's right. And but your homeroom teacher is who? Miss Powers. Miss Powers. And Miss Powers, what does she teach for you? She teaches reading. Okay, and then uh, Miss Bradford teaches what? Math. And Miss Wood teaches science and social studies. Okay. And tell us a little bit about um, the shirt that you're wearing, because I know Miss Boss wanted me to make sure <coughs> that you you explain about this this shirt that you're you wearing. You need to today. stand up so I can see. Or just stand up just a little bit. Yeah, there you, there, yeah there you go. There you go. There you go. Tell, this tell. shirt is for Dade County Student Council mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. And are you a member of the student council? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. That is a, that's an honor, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Only fifth grade students get to be a member of the student council. So, yes, it's, a, it's an honor. So, we've got you here today uh, because something happened yesterday. So, tell us a little bit about what happened to you yesterday, Demetrius. Yesterday, I got picked for the best student mm -hmm. best student for of the month student of the month that's right and do you remember what club <clears throat> that was do you remember yes the optimist club the optimist <laughs> club that's right wow that was such an honor mm -hmm. so um what did they recognize you for for helping others being kind and always following the character traits that's right and let me tell you a little bit about what happened is uh, the Optimist Club, they came to me and they said, Miss Blevins, I need um, you to select a student that has all of those character traits that you just talked about. And so I called your teachers and I said, guys, you're with them all the time. Can you give me a name of a student that has all of those character traits? And you know what name they came up with? It didn't take them but a second to tell me. They came up with your name, Demetrius. They said, without a doubt, he is the student of the month. So, um, tell us what happened yesterday because they brought some special things. What, tell tell everybody what they brought. They brought pizza and mm -hmm. drinks from CC's. They did. They brought some some pizza and some drinks. And when we brought a them in, a certificate. Uh, a certificate, yes. And I brought you another certificate. <coughs> if I brought it up here, and I bet I did not, Miss Boss, but I will give it to him. I have a mm -hmm. I have a certificate as well for you, um, Demetrius, that recognizes your award yesterday and all of the great character traits that you have that you've shown while you're at school um but when we brought in all that pizza what did your classmates do they said thank you demetrius they for did. <laughs> the student yes. of the month award. because they got to eat the pizza too mm -hmm. didn't they yes ma'am and what was so great about demetrius dr harris mm -hmm. is that he immediately started helping us serve his classmates he did not expect Aww. us to serve him he served his classmates. That is just that's a, a, wonderful. I know. I know. I know. Congratulations! I'm so mm -hmm. proud of you. Thank you. So, give mm -hmm. us uh, and everybody out there, give us uh, your advice for students who might want to receive the award. Always help others. Be kind, and always follow the rules. Mm -hmm. And what did you tell me though? Uh, we talked a little earlier. We talked about following what following what remember all that the big character one? traits mm -hmm. and you know who who helped come up with all those character traits this lady to your left oh i'm on the character ed committee <laughs> yes <laughs> yes she is so she came up with mm -hmm. a lot of those yes but um and we talked a little bit about tell us um your favorite subject remember we mm -hmm. talked about that my favorite subject is reading reading he loves to read so tell us why Octory because it helps you understand the words that you are saying and understand what you do see and, re and mm -hmm. <laughs> read. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the things that Miss um, Powers has you reading right now? I know you guys are kind of reading a, a particular book. We're reading Gwander. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tell us a little bit about that book. Do you remember anything about that? Not really, but I know a couple. Okay. It's about this kid who's like had a bunch of stuff wrong with him mm -hmm. and he had to get surgery and everything and he's mm -hmm. going to a new school mm -hmm. he's a special needs child and he has some facial deformities yeah. is what he has that's right so he's had some surgeries mm -hmm. that's right what else and he's like going to a new school and mm -hmm. some kids are being mean to him some mm -hmm. kids are being nice mm -hmm. and he's trying to make new friends try to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and stay calm that's right and and what's so neat about that is they're going to actually go and watch the film there's a film being um, produ oh, produced really? by the book. Yes. yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, um, Demetrius, again, we're so proud of you, mm -hmm. and we're going to take a quick break, okay? Thank you. 
Thank you. Congratulations. Georgia Northwestern Technical College is now accepting applications for classes. We offer programs in business, health, industrial, and public service at six campus locations with financial aid options as well. Take day, evening, or online classes to get your degree, diploma, or certificate. Apply now. Drop by one of our campuses today or check us out at gntc.edu. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Get focused. Get hired. Glass Farm Nursery on Highway 11 south of Trenton is now open for a limited time with what you need for the fall season. Now in their 46th year, shop and compare. 8-inch mums, just $4.99. Large mums, $17.99 right now. Plus, fresh fall pansies are on site and our fruit trees are half price. Get to Glass Farm Nursery for the absolute best selection. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 2. Glass Farm Nursery, four and a half miles south of Trenton on U.S. Highway 11. For 46 years, Glass Farm Nursery. The Dade County School System continues to put the safety of students first. That's why the Love the Bus Elementary campaign rolls on. Love the Bus is designed to teach students the importance of safety, respect, and proper bus etiquette. As we continue to enhance efforts of safety for our students, we'd like to have you as part of our team. If you're considering a career as a bus driver, call the Dade County Schools Transportation Department at 706-657-7053 today. Part-time hours with full-time benefits as a bus driver for the Dade County School System. Can you gig it? Oh, yes, you can. We know you've been waiting for a long time, and now Tennessee Valley Net is bringing it to you. Gigabit Internet Service, now available in certain areas of Dade County. Not just fast, super fast Internet Service, now available from Tennessee Valley Net. People are talking, I mean really smiling, about gig speed Internet, available in limited areas from Tennessee Valley Net. Call today at 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net and see if gig speed is available where you are. We know you'll gig it from Tennessee Valley Net. Looking for a great way to change your look? You'll find the friendly professionals at a Classy Cut Salon ready to care for you. A Classy Cut Salon is in the Gross Shopping Center next to the Dollar General. We serve men and women of all ages at a Classy Cut Salon. Call 657-5607. That's 657-5607 for an appointment or just walk right in for your next Classy Cut from a Classy Cut Salon in the Gross Shopping Center, Highway 11 North in Trenton. Okay, welcome back. I am joined with three more students from Dade Elementary School. I'm Tracy Blevins. I'm going to let these students introduce themselves, and uh, they will tell uh, their, uh, their homeroom teacher and their other teachers as well. Let's start with you. Uh, my name is Ruth. I My homeroom teacher is Miss Powers. My social studies and science teacher is Miss Wood, and my math teacher is Miss Bradford. Okay. Next. My name is Avery Flatt. Um, my homeroom teacher is Miss Bradford, and Miss Wood is my science and social studies, and Miss Powers is my reading and writing. Okay, next. Okay. My name is Madison Windsor, and my homeroom teacher is Miss Powers, and my reading teacher is Miss Powers, and my science and social studies teacher is Miss Wood, and Miss Bradford is my math teacher. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, these students are also wearing that same t shirt that Demetrius had. Because Avery, why? What is this T-shirt for? It's for the uh, DES Student Council. That's right. And all three of you are members? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, that's excellent. Excellent. Because you have lots of uh, projects that you're going to complete this year? Yes, Very good. And you're all fifth graders. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the things that you guys are going to be doing as student council members. And then we're going to talk about some of the things that we've already um, accomplished at Day Elementary. Okay. First, we're going to start with Ruth. So, Ruth, I've heard that character education is happening at Dade Elementary School, so um, tell me about that character education program at Dade Elementary School. Okay, um, character education is a very important part of DES. Um, as you know, every day we begin with someone in the staff, one of the teachers, or one of the students, uh, telling everyone over the intercom what the character word for this that week would be, mm -hmm. and they read it every single day. Um, they will tell us the definition, and and every week we have a different uh, character word. Okay, so um, how does your classroom teacher focus on character education? Our classroom teachers, they start by talking to us about our character word, and they tell us what it means, and every once in a while we will write an essay or a paragraph about what we think our character word for that week would mean, and write an, some examples of it. Okay, and um, are students recognized for demonstrating character education? 
Um, DES students are recognized for displaying positive character traits. Um, two way, there are two ways they can be recognized. One way is shout outs over the intercom. Mm -hmm. There's a large bulletin board in the hall in front of the office where anyone in DES can hang up a name for someone who deserves a shout out mm -hmm. over the intercom. And um, one of the DES people will say the shout outs mm -hmm. who who wrote the shout outs who, and who the mm -hmm. shout outs are to and why. It's usually Miss Eileen. She usually <laughs> does it. Mm -hmm. And you can do a shout out for a student or you can do a shout out for a teacher or, you know, even a custodian or a lunch, a cafeteria person. So we'll go ahead. And another way mm -hmm. they can be, students can be recognized is the student of the week. So each week a different grade level will pick a student who's shown outstanding behavior and they will win two things. One thing they will win is five free Frosties from Wendy's. Another mm -hmm. thing is this crown, which has the character word for that week on it. Mm -hmm. And they can also win the certificate. That's right. They That's also right. get their name put in the Day and Sentinel newspaper with their picture and their teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you think that the character education program uh, really helps students? I do think that it helps students. Mm -hmm. I think even though some parents may remind their kids at home what how to act and how to behave and make good choices it's always nice to remind the students at school how mm -hmm. to act that's right so tell us what the character word for this week is um this week's character word is patience patience means um to wait calmly without complaining mm -hmm. and do you think that you display this character trait very very well yes <laughs> she yes. told me earlier, sometimes, sometimes. So um, show us what, you brought us a couple of pictures, yeah. and then you want to end with a, a little bit of a quote, right? Yes. Okay. So here is an image of some DS staff members in mm -hmm. from the office. They all wore different character words. They did. From, they, cho they chose what they wanted to wear. Yeah, mm -hmm. trying to display different they are. things and mm -hmm. who they are. Mm -hmm. um, they dressed up as character words for Halloween. And we also have another picture that was put in the day newspaper of um, Mr. Ambrose. Why don't you show this uh, one? Show oh. this other one oh. here instead. This one's easier to get to. Um, yeah, Miss Good. Miss Good's uh, from second grade mm -hmm. and a student who showed um, outstanding behavior. Okay. And what's your quote? Uh, my quote is by Aristotle. Okay. It is patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. I think this means that being patient may be difficult and hard, mm -hmm. but the outcome can be great. Okay. All right. And we're going to move really quickly because we just have a short amount of time. So let's move quickly to Avery. Avery, I hear that there's something special going on at Dade Elementary yes. School today. Tell us about it. This week, the Thanksgiving food drive started it started today all right is there a prize for classrooms that bring in canned goods yes if anybody the class that brings the most canned goods um will get an ice cream party oh that's great so tell us um how many thanksgiving baskets did day elementary school provide last year last year we provided 65 families with a basket and we also had leftovers for the elderly okay and um when did this does the thanksgiving food drive end the thanksgiving food drive will it will conclude on november 17th of 2017 because that's when we go on fall break and can anyone or, um, thanksgiving, break. thanksgiving break that's right can anyone from the community bring canned goods for the food drive yes anybody that would like to bring mm -hmm. anybody in dade county that would like to bring canned goods may bring in canned goods that's right so just bring them to the office okay and last one uh madison tell us about the special event that happened at dade elementary school last week well last week we did the red ribbon week okay and tell us real quick what does red ribbon week mean red ribbon week means a symbol in a sign in a rib, rib. A reminder of uh, just to make healthy choices and do say no to drugs. Okay, and how did our school celebrate that? Our school celebrated it by dressing up and doing fun activities. We had some crazy dress up <laughs> days. Tell us one of your favorite ones. Okay, one of my favorite one was follow your dream for Thursday. It was follow your dreams and wear your pajamas. To oh, that's a nice day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it yes. feels like you just get out of bed and walking <laughs> on into school. So, what lessons did you think that the students took away from the Red Ribbon Week? I think they learned to, to not do drugs and live a healthy lifestyle. That's right. And that's what we want for all of the students of Dade Elementary and all the students of Dade County. That's right. That's right. So, um, 
you can tell Dade Elementary School is a very busy place, isn't it? It is. Very busy. We um, we enjoy having our fifth graders and our clubs. Every fifth grade student is uh, a member of a club. And um, so this is just an example of some, some of the things that student council gets to do and some of the students um, that get to participate. And Dr. Harris, would you like to wrap up real quick? Hey, I just want to come in here and tell these beautiful students how proud I am of each one of you. And every week we always tell everybody to make it a great day. So let's tell everybody at home, thanks for joining us and make, <laughs> it, a you. make it a great day. Make it a great day. Have a great day. <laughs>